So what bothers you more about Crossroads GPS, that they're taking advantage, for example, of tax benefits that are meant for legitimate social welfare groups, or by doing so they don't have to disclose their donors? Which is more troubling? Well, I think they're really both quite troubling. Uh, obviously, this is a way that donors who don't want to be held accountable for what they, uh, for their political views, are funneling their money to these C4 organizations like Crossroads GPS. Crossroads originally started out just with American Crossroads, which is a super PAC. But the problem with super PACs for a lot of people is that they do disclose their donors. Right, so then right. this second entity was set up, the C4 organization, Crossroads GPS, so that they could have people who didn't want to disclose their identities also give. And now the C4s really are the untold story of this election. So much more money is being funneled into these C4s than is being funneled into the super PACs because so many people want to maintain their anonymity while really destroying candidates, saying all sorts of horrible and untrue things about them. We contacted Crossroads GPS today for response to your complaint. And here's what their spokesman told us, quote, this is a baseless complaint from a labor union front group that serves partisan causes under the dubious guise of charity. How do you respond to that? Wow, well, we've never actually been called a labor, uh, a labor front group before, so that, that's new to me. Uh, but CREW is a nonpartisan uh, government watchdog organization. We take on folks on all sides. We file ethics complaints and complaints with the Federal Election Commission and the Internal Revenue Service against anybody who's not following the rules. We think Americans uh, who follow the rules themselves expect others to follow the rules in our elections. And it's really so sad when they're not. And people are spending millions of dollars, and Americans are really left without the proper context. They don't know who's behind this ad. And similar ads, by the way, were run against uh, Tim Kaine, who's running for Senate in Virginia, and uh, Bob mm -hmm. Kerry, who's running for Senate in Nebraska. And all of these things are, are really destructive to our democracy. Well, so, but, the, but here's the problem is that the FEC doesn't really have a strong record of, of resolving these matters. The IRS has crazy uh, enforcement, meaning crazy not so hot. Are you concerned that the FEC's decision could come after the election and make this moot? Absolutely. And the FEC and the IRS have both been pathetic. Neither one of these uh, agencies has done nearly what they should be doing to keep our elections free and fair. But uh, the FEC is a particular problem with five of its six commissioners sitting despite expired terms. And three of the commissioners on the commission have said flat out that they have no intention of following campaign finance laws. That One of them has actually said that he believes his job is to help Republicans from his perch on the commission. So what obviously needs to that's, happen uh, that's not... So what needs to happen that's so frustrating to hear from your perspective what has to happen well, you know, one of the things that has to happen is President Obama has to appoint new commissioners. This is a, a power that he has, and he should be appointing new commissioners. Those people Do have, they have to, to be confirmed, confirmed by the Senate. Ah. They do, and obviously that's a tough battle. Uh, but we think it's a battle that the American people are ready to have. Well, as you mentioned earlier, uh, the IRS does have a rule that says your primary purpose can't be engaging in political activity. But there are some groups out there who were formed just for the elections. They started in 2010. And a great example is the American Action Network, which was started by former Republican Senator Norm Coleman. That organization has spent over 66 percent of its budget on political ads against Democrats. So if you're running political ads with over 66 percent of your budget, then clearly that's your yeah. primary purpose. You're not doing anything else of substance. Right. And that's the kind of group the IRS ought to come down hard on so that other players don't come into the field and start also making C4s basically allowed to do whatever they want with, without fear of repercussions.